everyone, and welcome to Brugmas Day 2. Hope y'all are having a great day, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over Backrooms Level 53. No, I didn't skip Level 52, it's just not available right now. Literally. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into level 53. And this one is easily one of the most unique levels that I've ever read. Seriously, there's not one level on the wiki dot like this. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, top link in the description for the merch drop for this winter. If you missed the announcement last video, I got merch. Check it out. More info at the end of the video. So Backrooms Level 53 is written in a letter format, and it doesn't have a proper description, so in order for me to give you the full experience, I'm just gonna have to read the whole thing how it is. But first, I will give you a short description of the level, so you can kind of get a basic understanding of it. So Backrooms Level 53 is one man's house. That's it. The entire level is one guy's house. And this man is named Alan Grady, and he's been trapped inside of his own house since December of 2008. My goodness. So literally 12 years, he's been trapped in his own house, and it's thought that it's a backrooms level that did this. The night before he got trapped, everything was normal, and he was alone in his house, no one was there, his wife and kids weren't, and there were Christmas decorations up, everything seemed perfect. Until one point in the night, he says that everything felt like it started to fall. Everything was falling around him. And then after that, he himself fell, and he hit his head or something, and he got knocked out. And while he was falling, he could still see all of his decorations and furniture falling as well. But when he woke up, nothing was misplaced. Nothing was falling, and everything was in his normal spot. And ever since that night, he has not been able to leave his house and nothing makes sense there's just weird things that happen and i'll explain it all right now so yeah that was the basic overview of the level i'm gonna get into the letter that he sent to meg officials and it's titled attempt 53 which apparently is his 53rd attempt at emailing someone anyways here it goes hello to whoever is reading this if anyone my name is alan grady and I'm a 37-year-old male of average height. I'm writing this because I'm trapped inside my own home. I don't know how to get out. And this is my latest attempt at outside communication. I guess it's best just to start where it started. It was December 2008, almost Christmas. It was just me in the house that day, alone. I don't remember much, but I remember my entire house falling, if that makes any sense. I still have the decorations up right now as of writing. Well, then I woke up after being knocked out cold for who knows how long. I woke to see my house how it normally should be, though some objects and glass shards were on the floor from what happened. I looked around to see the outside world was still outside my windows. I realized that this wasn't the case soon after. I thought things could still be normal after all that. I tried opening my front door, but it just led me back to my house. I froze in fear. I didn't understand what was going on, nor do I really want to know. It all happened too fast. I jolted back to the corner of my wall and sat down with my back leaning against it. Just sat there in shock and deep thought, what will I do now? I looked around to explore the house itself. Everything there was normal, for the most part. All the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the kitchen, my devices. It was all there, even the basement. Here's an image of the kitchen, if you were wondering. Well, days had passed, and then the days soon turned to months, but the sky outside the window never got dark. It was always early in the morning, like 7 a.m. maybe. I can't really tell anymore. The clock still works, and it's 4.23 a.m. I haven't gotten much sleep since I got here, but I never felt like I needed to often. The food is edible, and the water is drinkable, but only from the fridge, and I need to use a filter pitcher soon. I thought I ran out of things to eat, but when I went down into the basement, there's always a pile of food on the ground that can last me a few days. I always have to grab it all and run to the fridge and cabinets to make sure some of the food stays fresh. It doesn't restock at a certain time, though. It's always completely random. One time, it wouldn't restock for weeks. I have no clue how I was able to survive that long and feel normal. It wasn't until that very last week that I started to feel very hungry, as if all the days previously that I hadn't eaten came back to haunt me. That was until I looked to see if the basement had restocked, and it did. But I noticed that most of the packages were ripped open and broken. I then saw movement. So I slowly walked towards the small food pile to see what was inside. Turns out, a little mouse had gotten into the food pile and was having a good old time eating it. Must have been there before the house fell. I carefully trapped the mouse in a jar, brought him upstairs to a small cage from a previous hamster pet, and I made him my little friend. I named him Louie, and I feed him daily, but honestly, it doesn't help the fact that I am 
still alone from other human beings. Well, soon after, years had passed, and during those times, I'd get visitors. Still do. However, they are not human. They're more tall and slender, and they have no face. They don't seem to be any danger, though. They just aimlessly wander my house, either sitting at the table or the couch or just looking out the windows. Sometimes they sit down next to me as I watch TV. Surprisingly, TV still works normally. Wi-Fi also works, although it's practically terrible. There isn't much to do, so I took cooking as a hobby. All the kitchen utensils work, so I cook whatever I can with my random assortment of foods. I make a really good steak if you ever want to come by and try some, whoever you are. Even though my food restocked in my basement, it's always on the concrete floor and in the middle of the room. I have to go and wash it off every time after moving the food so nothing gets infected. Meanwhile, I noticed I was getting a pile of food every few days to a week, which was much more than I could eat. I started to save my food to make sure I would have enough to last me a few years, and it worked out for me. I got my own cookbook and everything. Well, a lot of time has passed now, and I recently made many attempts to escape, including breaking the windows. It is always shown a nice neighborhood and some people walking around outside. I would always stare at them or even scream to help, but no one did anything. Well, besides one time when there was a whole group of people just staring at me from afar through the window. I really couldn't sleep after that. I made my efforts to break the windows, but they wouldn't budge until one of them eventually broke. Although my efforts were for nothing, as it just led right back into my house again. So now I'm just here. There seems to be no way out, and it seems like I'm stuck for the rest of my life here. You know, I just miss people. I miss my family. I miss my life. I was working in a very well-paying job as my wife took care of my kids. I just wonder why I was brought down here. Everything happens for a reason, though, right? Please help me, your friend, Alan Grady. So at the bottom of the page, there's actually a Meg report, and apparently this note... Attempt 53 that I just read you was found by a MEG officer in level 9. And the note itself was found on a red painted wooden door of a very small house. The MEG officers broke down that door, entered the building, and they found Alan Grady. And he was successfully rescued and brought to a MEG base. And since then, he's been taken back to that house, which apparently is his house. And now he can leave and enter it at will, but he still is in the back rooms. So yeah, if you didn't get all of that, pretty much this guy got trapped in his own house from real life, but he's now in the back rooms. So somehow the back rooms collided with reality, took this guy's house into the back rooms, and he's never going to be able to go back. It's pretty sad, man. All right, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe as well. Comment Trapped Brugly if you are still watching. Also, the merch is the top link in the description. This is my first merch drop ever. Though, literally, I love how it turned out. The design is so cool. And as I said last video, if you missed it, I want this entire Brugly brand to be like a liminal space, retro core VHS type of vibe on the designs. If you're still watching, you can use code BRUGMIS for 10% off for the rest of the week, all the way in until next Sunday. So I'm gonna make all these designs in this cool way. I hope y'all really enjoy this merch. I'll be dropping more and more as the years progress and I'll have a bunch of them ready for next year. So if you wanna support the channel and if you wanna get some really nice clothes, check that link out in the description. Tag me on Twitter with all the stuff you buy. If you get anything, I would love to see you wearing it. I'm super proud how this turned out. I'm super proud to be releasing clothes. Thank you so much for everything. I love and appreciate all of you. Hope y'all are getting ready for Christmas. It's coming soon, literally just a few days away. That's it for me, and I will see you tomorrow for Brugmas Day 3. Peace and love.